What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, New York's favorite Chicagoan. Welcome to Soho in Lower Manhattan. Yo, you know if we're in Soho, we gotta get the crow. Nut, that is. That's why it was imperative we stopped at Dominique Ansel Bakery for a nice, lovely breakfast and some treats as well. Since we're here and we had to wait in line, we couldn't just get the cronut. We also had to get the perfect little egg sandwich. Also got a little box of Madeleines. And of course, you know, it's morning time. Come on, say it with me now. Hashtag no cream, no sugar, iced coffee. Delicious. The iced coffee is black and it's from La Colombe Coffee Roasters. And I'm pretty hungry because we made a long trip this morning, so start with the perfect little egg sandwich. This is like a whole brick made out of eggs, but so soft and spongy. And the bun holding it together, quite exquisite. I really love this. After I finish this egg sandwich, then I'm gonna hop into the Krona Madeleines, and we also got macarons, but they're in the golden little bag. Everything about this place is super chill. Even though you have to wait in a line, it moved pretty quickly, and everybody inside was very friendly. There's so much to choose from. The croissant, the pan au chocolat, the maple pecan French toast. Everything looked so amazing. And I know we're gonna be putting this on our list of stops every few weeks or so. Now I know that there is a line all the way down the block just for these cronuts, but that perfect little egg sandwich was so amazing that I would stand in line just for that. That fluffy, fluffy egg, it reminded me of a Japanese cheesecake. You know how they jiggle? It, was so perfect. I don't know how to make an egg like that, but maybe I'll spend the rest of my life trying. Time for the, <laughs> time for Dominique Enzel's signature pastry, the Cronut. These flavors change every single month. They've never repeated. This one is the raspberry jam and pistachio ganache. It just sounds amazing. Here we go. That is so cool. I love donuts. I love croissants. I don't typically like jelly filled donuts, but because it is such like a, like a mixture of both of these types of things, it is so unique and it's really, really good. Food mashups are a pretty big deal these days. We've been seeing this commercial for a pizza chain that's combining pizza with a quesadilla. So I guess, a croissant with a donut doesn't seem too far-fetched when you see something as extreme as that. We always get croissant on this channel and we had a cronut on our burger tour but it wasn't a cronut per se because I think that's a trademark term but around the corner from Washington Square Park is a great donut spot that does croissant donuts as well. This is where it all originated so we're gonna judge this one on a scale of 1 to 100. I can't wait to see. A lot of this stuff gets hyped up so much that you start to wonder, is it really worth it? Waiting five to 10 minutes in line to order this wasn't really that bad. Now would I wait two hours for this? Yeah, sure. Cronut also sounds like the name of a 90s cartoon villain. <laughs> I'm Cronut. They're mini Madeleines that come in these cute little boxes. They're, they've got like this very light lemony flavor. Just been chilling, enjoying them. I really love Madeleines and I feel like every time we go to a bakery and they offer it, I gotta buy one. <laughs> this is the best one I've ever had. 
an egg sandwich, an iced coffee, a cronut. That's a perfect way to start your day in Soho. Not London, but NYC. This neighborhood got the name Soho in 1816. It was named by Cornelius Van Knickerbocker after he got back from a trip to London. He spent a lot of time in Soho and said, you know what, I think my hometown needs a neighborhood with this same name, Soho. And that's the only reason this neighborhood has that name. Well, at least that's according to the New York City history book that I found on Wish.com. Funny story, Nerissa and I thought we could get around the system by ordering just one coffee at the bakery, but they put a lot of ice in that coffee and it definitely wasn't enough. Nerissa didn't even get a sip and I didn't even realize it, but even drinking all that coffee, it didn't really do the trick. So we came around the corner to Drip Drop Cafe, a very fancy cafe. They're all dressed in vests and they bring your coffee out to you on trays. We each got an espresso and this is a perfect cap off to all those baked goods, Madeline, the macaron, the cronut, and the perfect little egg sandwich. Now a little shot of espresso from Drip Drop Cafe. That's right. My good friends in Gusto Nation know that I'm a big architecture head, so Soho is a great neighborhood if you also like architecture because it was once a grand warehouse district with cast iron buildings, as far as the eye can see, the highest concentration in the US. But after a while, manufacturing started moving to other parts of New York, and so these buildings were abandoned. Artists then moved in because the lofts were huge Except you weren't allowed to live in them back then. Well, they bent the rules a little bit. And then in the 1960s, Lomex, which was to be the Lower Manhattan Expressway connecting the Hudson River to the East River, was proposed right through Soho. It would have torn down a ton of buildings. Thank you to the artists and the preservationists who came in and preserved this neighborhood so that we can enjoy it today. The other day, we decided to go to Emmett's in Soho after trying their Greenwich Village location. Now, Emmett is a chef from Chicago, similar to me, except I'm not a chef, and he specializes in Chicago hot dogs, Italian beefs, tavern-style pizza. This, in our opinion, is the best Chicago pizza joint outside of Chicago. Our pizza is baking up to perfection. While we wait, we got a few starters, like the arugula salad with walnuts, apples, baby arugula, grana padano cheese, beautiful vinaigrette in there. We got four mozzarella sticks with a nice dipping sauce. And of course, y'all know we're Chicagoans in New York, so we can't be without our beers. This is a Pilsner, and Nerissa got a hazy IPA. They're both local New York beers, because it's a rainy afternoon, and what else are you gonna do on a rainy day in Manhattan besides eat pizza and drink beer? You can take the Chicagoan out of Chicago, but you can't take the Chicago out of a Chicagoan. So we're gonna have pizza and beer on a rainy, cold day in New York City. Let's get it. And of course, you know, we have to get the Chicago style hot dog that's got all the toppings, including a poppy seed bun. Are you kidding me? Yo, this hot dog smells just like home. Mustard, sport peppers, onions, neon green relish, tomatoes, no ketchup. Cheers. That is a great Chicago hot dog. Right, our tavern style pizza is here. Sitting in the tavern eating pizza. What could be better on a Sunday afternoon? We got the hot poppy. This has pepperoni, red onion, jalapeno, and lots and lots of cheese. We got the paprika ranch on the side. All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm. Dipped in a little ranch. Mm. Good. We searched and searched all over this neighborhood from Houston to Broom to Crosby to West Broadway and we couldn't find a Soho Square like the one they have in London. Maybe one day we can help create that here and bridge the gap between two of our favorite cities in the world.
By the way, if you're enjoying this Soho neighborhood tour, make sure you finesse that like button. Soho is a great destination for shopping. You can pretty much find any brand that you've heard of, lots of brands that you haven't heard of, and some brands that you've only seen in the magazines waiting to get your teeth cleaned at the dentist's office. Now today we've just been window shopping and browsing, but just last week during a torrential downpour in Soho, we did a lot of shopping at Nike, we got some stuff from GU and Zara, desde España, nuestra tienda favorita aquí en Nueva York. We stepped into a couple of art galleries, we went to the G-Shock store, Double RL, Jonathan Adler. We also visited the Ed Sheeran pop-up on Wooster Street. Just yesterday, Ed Sheeran himself made an appearance, but we missed him by this much. There are times that we film maybe once a week and go to restaurants, and then there are other times when we're filming almost every day. And when that's the case, I like to stop and get a green juice. So we're at Dr. Smood, which sounds like a good rap name. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Doom. And we got uh, detox juice, even though I really don't like the word detox. It has apple, celery, spinach, ginger, and lemon. Also, I'm kind of looking for that juicer sponsorship. So if you're a juice company watching this and you make clean juicers, Go ahead and hit me up. The email's below in the description because I, I want to make fresh juice every single day. Some other neighborhoods around Soho include Tribeca, Chinatown, and Greenwich Village. It's well served by the MTA. Various subway lines come through here like the E and the M train. It's also a great area if you're into fashion. That's why I had to rock my $250 t-shirt. This is made from a special material that's only made in a laboratory in Singapore. You can't get this unless you click that link in the description below, then maybe I'll sell you one of my extras. I also got some nice pants I'm rocking. This is the ultimate version of athleisure wear because on a spring day when you're walking around a lot you want to keep cool but you also want to look cool see i'm dropping gems all over this youtube channel so make sure you pick a few of them up also subscribe if you haven't already speaking of outfits to wear in new york city if you want more of my recommendations be sure to check out my secret youtube channel because over there i talk a lot more about my fashion what i wear on a day-to-day -day basis in new york and in chicago Estamos aquí en Boquería en Soho para lonche y pedimos cuatro tapas. Aquí tenemos la patata brava, pan con tomate, este, boquerones y, y croquetas de jamón. Ay Dios mío, qué patata tan rica y frita. Mm -hmm. Y aquí tenemos El pan con tomate. Everything's great. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Previously, we've been to the Chicago Boqueria many, many times. This is our first time to the Soho location. They were telling us they actually have four here in New York City. We just wanted a light lunch today, so we had four tapas. We also got a Mondariz sparkling water. A nice bottle of that. We split it. The vibes in there are crazy. Um, not very chill at all, very noisy, a lot of people screaming at the top of their lungs. Um, I wouldn't recommend it as a date spot, I don't think. Um, and also the hostess kind of had a little chip on her shoulder. But overall, we did have a pretty decent experience. The food was good, and that's the most important part after all. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Soho in Lower Manhattan. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Peace.